Finally, as we draw the award categories to a close to present the final award of the evening, this award is for the Outstanding Business Leader of the Year. And here are the nominees. In the category, Outstanding Business Leader of the Year, the nominees are Anish Shah, Varun Berry, Salil Parikh, Velayan Subaya, TV Narendran and Dinesh Khara. And the Outstanding Business Leader of the Year Award goes to... They say the finest men are forged from the toughest steel. I look at a crisis always as an opportunity. When TV Narendran isn't running a marathon or playing cricket, he's busy transforming Tata Steel into the most profitable company of the Tata Group. We have the capability to turn difficult assets around, get the most out of it. But it wasn't always such a rosy story for India's largest integrated steel company. Challenges always drive me, complexity drives me. I think uh, I'm always excited about a situation which uh, requires a great application of mind and effort. When TV Narendran took over the reins of India's first privately owned steel company nine years ago, Tata Steel wasn't the red. Today, Tata Steel has outpaced TCS in consolidated revenue for the Tata Group. Despite having 65,000 employees spread across five continents, TV Narendran has miraculously halved Tata Steel's debt by over 50,000 crores. With some nifty business acquisitions, Tata Steel's goal of a 40 million ton capacity are well and truly on track. TV Narendran's next goal to helm the world's most ecologically sensitive steel producer. So now it's time for me to give back, do whatever I can for Tata Steel. For steering Tata Steel from a legacy brand to one of the world's leading steel manufacturers and for putting India on the global steel map, CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Outstanding Business Leader of the Year Award to TV Narendra. A big, big round of applause for Mr. TV Narendra, the global CEO and MD of Tata Steel. He joined Tata Steel way back in 1988 and has made his way to the post of Managing Director in 2013. Having spent 35 years in the company in various roles, he is credited with reinventing and reshaping Tata Steel into a force of the future. A big round of applause once again for Mr. TV Narendran. Mr. Narendran, congratulations and uh, thank you very much for joining us here this evening. Uh, you know, We've spoken about this, and there's many changes that uh, have happened at Tata Steel under your stewardship. Uh, of course, the acquisitions that we've seen, especially through the NCLT process in the last few years, that's been a big change. The focus on India, a renewed commitment to the domestic story, that's been a big change. And debt reduction, a significant 50,000 crores cut in terms of debt reduction, I think that's been a significant milestone uh, that you've achieved. What's, what's next now as far as you're concerned? Thank you, Shireen. Firstly, thank you to the jury. I must, in the interest of full disclosure, say that I was part of the jury, but not part of the discussion, right? <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much. Uh, great privilege uh, to, for me to accept it on behalf of all the employees of Tata Steel, past and present. Uh, you know, uh, it's a journey. This is a company that's been around for 110 years. So we always look at what is it that we're going to leave behind for the next generation. I think we want to leave behind an organization which is culturally, structurally, and financially future ready. India is a great opportunity. India is already the second largest producer of steel in the world. China is eight times the size of India, so that's in some sense the opportunity that there is. India is blessed with a lot of uh, geological richness. So I think Tata Steel wants to play a big role in that journey. And thanks to the government for spending so much on infrastructure, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Yeah. Zareen has a question. Zareen. So, how is your journey going to be on the green steel? So, that's a big one, and I'm glad the minister is here because, firstly, we need a lot of gas in eastern India if we are to make that journey because ultimately you have to replace coal with gas or hydrogen or you have to recycle steel. And I think we're doing all of that. It's a bouquet of solutions that we need to chase. Uh, the regulatory framework also needs to encourage that. Customers need to pay more. So, multiple things need to happen. I think Europe is already doing that, and I think India is uh, moving in that direction. Tata Steel has already made a commitment to go net zero by 2045. 
and I think uh, we're doing a number of things. Also, great opportunity for us to work with startups because a lot of innovative work. You know, we see the startups in the B2C space more than we see startups in the technology space. Today, we recognize two of them. There are many working in materials and uh, B2B businesses, and I think we need to leverage that. I don't know how many of you know this, but TV Narendran plays the drums. I, I, wish, I wish I had a drum kit at the back, but I, I unfortunately don't. So, so what is the beat that's making you dance to work every day? I think uh, I love my job. I think that's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't have lasted 35 years in the same company or the same industry. I think that's important to choose the company and the industry that you like and uh, give it all you have. And is there a personal milestone that you've set for yourself? Next. I say I must lose weight. Never happens. <laughs> well, TV Narendra, we wish you the very best of luck with that as well. But thank you very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the CEO of the year at the India Business Leader Awards.